I'm Dave Lefebvre, and I'm getting out of my comfort zone. Exploring extreme places and culture, discovering extreme people, while encountering extreme weather. Where do I plan to do all this? Well, in my own backyard, of course. This is not your typical fishing show. It's unscripted, outside the box, and 100% real. This is Eerie Extreme. I'm getting too old for this. We are the Lucky Lucky's, and you're a Lucky Lucky. When I got the call to be on a fishing show, I'm like, huh? All right, James, we'll see you at 10 tomorrow. Okay. Bye. You know how some people are hard to buy stuff for? Well, that's my mom. And this Mother's Day, I wanted to really surprise her. I'm Dave's mom, and I believe in ghosts. Amanda actually had the idea to contact a paranormal group, and uh, it just so happened we found one in Erie. Huh? How you doing? Great nice meeting. to meet you. I'm James. I believe in paranormal experiences. Do you? Not particularly. We're excited. Oh my. Is it okay if we call you the ghost hunter? Oh, really? What can we call you? Paranormal investigator? Extraordinaire? Extraordinaire? <laughs> I don't know about that. This is a this is a paranormal ghost hunter extraordinaire? No way. Let me get that right. Again. So I thought another way to make this uh, surprise even more special would be to grab my brother Nate. Uh, we don't get to hang out much. He lives in Columbus, Ohio, and mom doesn't get to see him that much either. This is Amanda. I think you met her already. Terry, Code Man, I forget her name all the time. Jamie, Bree, that's right. This is my mom. Okay, so she's the reason we're doing this. This is Bev. This is James. He's a paranormal investigator extraordinaire. When I go to her house, she feeds me and she turns on ghost shows and I have to sit there and watch them with her, so. I watch a lot of ghost shows. This is serious stuff. <laughs> So James told me it probably wouldn't be a good idea to wear black. So I wore black. She's wearing red. Is that okay? Yeah. Now you told me I, on the. I told him about black. Yes, and he said he was gonna wear it anyway. What'd hey, you look? We're See, so why did you do that? <laughs> what does that mean, though? I mean, am I in jeopardy? It, it's just. You know, I brought red shirts for the whole crew. Yeah, it's just if you're superstitious, black is the color of darkness, evil. Okay. So you're evil? So it's a superstitious belief. So let's get evil and dark, let's get darkness and light in, in the same shot here, just real quick. <laughs> darkness and, <laughs> darkness meet light. All right. And see, look, look what he did. Look what he did to her. See what uh, he did to her? What? Look. What did it? you see that? It was a spider. As soon as he touched you, a spider crawled out of his ear and dropped right on your shoulder. Ooh, I don't like spiders. Where do you think um, we should go? Prescott Lighthouse, over here on Prescott. Then you have uh, the Erie Land Lighthouse, and then you have the North Pier Light. What's to prevent like a ghost from walking over from here or flying? What do they do? Transporting from here to that boat. How can we decide what's haunted and what's not? Everything is haunted at some point, well, right? You know, doing, you know, like your question. Dave asked some strange questions. And James has strange answers. Like people that believe in God, a lot of them don't say, say they don't believe in ghosts. Those are your spirits. So they're two different things? Right. You could say they're two different things, but nowadays they're becoming intertwined. You think there's more people than ghosts? That's a tough one. Okay, we're gonna go ghost hunting. If we do anything that you think offends the ghosts, you tell me. I don't, I'm kind of ignorant to this. So same thing, like if I took you fishing and you did something like stepped on my rod or something, I'd be like, yo, James, can we like do one of those like game time things? Like if we all got together and did one of those, like one, two, three, ghosts. Is that, is that okay? I think it's okay, right? Okay, so come on, gather in. This is the most people we've ever had on a shoot. So obviously we're doing something fun today. Ready? One, two, three, ghosts. One, two, three, ghosts. Hauntings are residual hauntings, so it's like they're just doing the same thing. It's just 
leftover energy. So they don't stay in unpopulated areas, they're just in residual areas? <laughs> so we went to the uh, Erie Land Lighthouse, a uh, very interesting place. I've been there three times, and it always seems, uh, whenever I do go there, uh, we always get something on audio. Holy moly, look at this. <gasps> I've never been here. Me neither. This is awesome. My friend used to live in this house right there. What do, what do we have to do to get in? Got to see if the owner's home. And so that guy actually owns this? Uh, he's just the keeper. He probably has a big scary dog or something. I don't think he's here. You know, I'm kind of glad nobody's home. Uh, so it's time to dig into James' tackle box. Just to make sure people understand this, most of the equipment I have and I do use, it helps me monitor the environment, okay? for electromagnetic fields, which people believe ghosts are. This is basically an AC meter. That means that it's picking up alternating current. This is a buzz bait. This is a DC meter, which is picking up direct current. This is a jig. Our bodies are made up of direct current, not AC current. Okay. This is a crankbait. A very big crankbait. Now, some people believe that in the afterlife, it mixes. And the creepiest bait that I own, a LaBeouf Creeper, which is pretty cool, actually. Kind of sounds like chains rattling in the attic. Sometimes it's not the structure that's haunted. It's the land. What about that boat? There gotta be a couple sitting in that thing. <laughs> I got red shirts for everybody. What size are you? Do I look better in red? <laughs> yeah, you look better in red. Terry? Now you have a positive energy going. Okay. <laughs> Why is his bigger than mine? This is a Mel meter. Uh, it's like an all-in-one type deal. You gotta rein her in. Okay, let's... Okay, let's do something. So, wait, you need James with you. Don't walk over there by yourself. Why? Think about it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are we supposed to stay together or just go off wandering around? We can stay together. Let's stay together. Okay. There's power in numbers. Okay, so what do we do? Let's do it. What, what am I looking for to happen on this thing? It'll light up. Okay, so if it lights up, it's like do we yell out, I got one! No. Okay. No. So I get away from the group and, and walk behind the lighthouse, and that's the first time I realized that you know, this isn't really a game. And I admit, I got a little bit spooked by it. I don't really know if you have to walk slow. Is there anybody here with us? Hello, I am your friend. You know what, this isn't a joke either. I'm like, I come in peace. I'm just gonna follow the shadow. We're trying to find ghosts. And this is one of the places that everybody says we need to come to. Oh yeah? Does that make you feel uncomfortable living close to no. here? No. You cool with it? To be honest with you, I don't believe in ghosts. You don't believe in them? <laughs> No, I'm sorry, I don't. Do you think there's any reason to hit like a cemetery? Or is that crazy? I don't want to do anything. I mean, I, I kind of want to see this thing light up, but I don't want to see it vibrate and blow up in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> but if, should we? Dave's not really a believer. Strike one. That's fine, but he might be soon. Okay, let's go. Vampires, here we come. Do, oh, hey, do vampires show up on this thing? Next stop, Erie Cemetery. Uh, James is a great paranormal investigator extraordinaire, but when it comes to directions, not so much. Why is he going down this way to go up to where we're going? On our way to this Erie Cemetery. Because, I, does he, yeah, we should be going straight and then up to 26th Street. CJ noticed that Dave's brake lights were out, and they weren't like that before. So I pull into Country Fair and, uh, you know, first it's the cicadas messing with the microphones, and now this. Your other two brake lights ain't working at all, man. On the truck? Yeah, on the van. Would that be a fuse? Interesting. Ghosts? Ooh. <laughs> we're at the Erie Cemetery, and we're walking toward the Witch's Circle. This is a place where people that practice witchcraft were buried. As you can see, all the headstones are in a circle. It's believed that there was uh, people that were into satanic ritual and they practiced witchcraft. One of the stories is that the reason why 
the headstones are black like that is because uh, one night somebody set them on fire. Can I walk around with that? Yeah. Do you have to walk slow? Not really. Just keep an eye on it, see if it goes off. These are witches or? Believed to be people who practice witchcraft. James, there's like a, a tombstone coming out of the tree. A tombstone embedded right in it. Looks like it. Yeah, it is a tombstone. And that was exciting there, but we didn't hear anything There's there. something of, that was about the, if you saw a quarter or a dime or a nickel or even a penny laying on a grave, it was there for a particular reason, but we can't remember what the reason is. Where's the vampires? Uh, up the hill here. Erie Cemetery has its own mystique about it. Uh, the stories of the witch's circle, the vampire crypt, and the Scott mausoleum. Um, I think with the Erie Cemetery, you'd have to actually get in there and do more investigation to see really if something is going on in there. You scared, honey? I'll take care of you. <laughs> Grab my hand. <laughs> I haven't held my mom's hand in a long time, James. Does it really take a ghost to get my boys to hold my hand? Headed up the hill here, we're going to show you the world-famous Erie Cemetery Vampire Crypt. You know, the, the best paranormal piece of equipment you can have, okay, is you. Really? You got a mosquito right in the dead center of your head. It's a vampire bug. I think in the records it says it belongs to a brown family, or that that was supposed to say brown. Isn't what like that? half of our family named Brown? Yep. I'm like spooked out right now, big time. And I feel nauseous. So you record this stuff and play it back, that's when you hear it? That's kind of odd. If you listen right here, it sounds like a woman's voice. She says, there's people. So I'm starting to see how this works now you know james mentioned that the most important piece of equipment is you so i'm thinking if you want to hear there's people you will i didn't hear anything yeah, it sounds like somebody's saying there's people right there Okay, so I heard that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There's your ghost. Hey, we heard something. We heard something. Yeah, it sounds like somebody's saying there's people. there's people. Okay, so what? I don't know. I, I definitely heard something, but I'm not really convinced yet. No. Okay, so. The hair on my neck is standing up right now. Hear it? Very good again. You gotta listen to it a few times. <laughs> Hear it? Yeah, that was pretty weird. I didn't realize what we were doing here. Yeah. But that's interesting. When we play it back, we'll... You know, Dave wasn't a believer this morning, but I'm wondering what he's thinking now. I'm thinking I'm hungry. The Queen of Voodoo's buried that's right. in St. Louis that's Cemetery. Right. Right. Her name was Marie Laveau. I like James. He speaks my language. Huh? Okay. I think he graduated from Fort LaBeouf. And uh, when you leave her grave you leave and you want luck or something like that, you mark three X's on her tomb before you leave. Let's go and take our chances. <laughs> All I got is my cell phone and I ain't leaving it here. Dave's mom is a believer. I'd like that. Okay, let's go. I'm feeling nauseous, but I can't tell if it's because I'm hungry. Uh, I'm hungry. Strike two. I'm still not convinced. Are we following um, you again? Yeah. Are you going to go to a more direct route this time, or are you going to take us to Ohio? I didn't know how to I'm get kidding. it. I'm kidding. This episode of Eerie Extreme is presented by Marquette Savings Bank, Fast Signs, We Create, The Avonia Tavern, FishingOnline.com, Bentley Tree Care, East End Angler, Palmero Toyota, the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and by Visit Erie. To keep up with Erie Extreme, like us and subscribe. Check out the Erie Extreme YouTube channel where you can get a more in-depth look, view raw uncut episodes, fun segments, a loud obnoxious parrot, and more. 
When you subscribe, you will be eligible to win extreme prizes, plus the chance to win an all-expense-paid trip to fish with Dave on world-famous Lake Erie. And remember, like our good friend Bob the Parrot always says, save a worm for a bird. Why do I say that again? Now, we're off to Presque Isle Lighthouse. Hi, I'm Michael Sullivan, Executive Director of the Presque Isle Lighthouse here in Erie, Pennsylvania. The lighthouse was built in 1872 and 1873. It's an operating lighthouse. It's not a mothballed lighthouse, which makes it even a little more interesting. The light keeper, if you will, um, lit the lamp, lit the tower. It was at the tower every single night, April through um, uh, November, uh, the shipping season. And he'd have to go to the tower about four times a night uh, to light the, uh, keep the lamp lit. 1944, the light was electrified, so there was really no more need for a, a light keeper. But from 1944 on up till a couple years ago, 2013, I think, uh, someone always lived here at the lighthouse. Usually park personnel, uh, Coast Guard personnel, etc. Nice Executive to meet you. The lighthouse. Great. We welcome all of you guys. This is uh, the biggest group we've ever had. Everybody's all excited because we're uh, hoping Good. to hoping to find some of your invisible friends. Yeah, they could be here. Wow. Have you met before? No. no. Is there is there a way that we can somehow cordon off a little area that we can get where it's quiet? Even if yes. even if there's is there? Yeah, you can go upstairs which is closed to the public. Uh, the Prescott Lighthouse reports are that, you know, it is haunted. Uh, However, I don't think there's been many investigators inside. Uh, I think we're lucky today just to be inside. How's the fishing going? Uh, it's going good. I've been following you. This was the drying room. If anybody was pulled out of the lake, this is a great book brought up here to, for recovery and stuff. That could mean people actually died here. They're going to check for paranormal activity in this house. So you're, you're just saying I should leave? <laughs> needle was popping up earlier so you could have like ghost energy connection going on with this see there's energy around me right now and I'm trying what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find out where it is and where it's going it was right here for a couple seconds and then it moved that's kind of like what you want to look for like when you're when you're using gadgets like this and when you get a hit you want to move this around and see if it'll move with you it's like it was there for a second and then boom and that's the way it happens. We're gonna try a EVP session, okay? I'm just gonna see if we get anything on this audio recorder. Do you wanna come in here and we're gonna shut this door? Okay, on three, three, two, one. Recording here at the Prescott Lighthouse, 1240. Is there anybody here with us? Is there any presence with us here? There it is. Is that possible? Should I answer it? Answer it. <laughs> no. Answer it. Answer it. Are from the other side? Well, do you think that's a coincidence? They're here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a hit. That's some energy right there. Hear it? Yeah, we got a hit. Um, not the same kind of hit I'm used to, but... Oh, there might be somebody here. A hit nonetheless. Someone. That's direct current, which is indicative of a possible ghost spirit. It's electromagnetic energy, so I want to turn this on, see if I get any voices out of the ordinary. Something's going on. Still? One, two, two more. Three, one more. Stop. And as you can see, I asked it to do it four times. What it did, it did it four times. So you have a possibility of how. So something could be going on. Can we listen to that last three minutes or whatever? Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Betsy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the name Betsy. Right of course she says yeah, shut up. Yeah, do that again. Right there. Yeah. They're listening to us, Dave. Really? When we listen to the voice recorder, we're pretty sure we heard the name Betsy. One word can mean a lot. 
So what I, what, what I would want to do is I would want to follow up on it. We don't know what significance that was. Ask the caretakers, is there any relevance to anybody being here named Betsy? And then if he says yes, what's all that going on? You know, weird things are definitely happening, um, but it's not concrete, you know? Um, I'm still skeptical. There's different types of hauntings. Your residual type haunting is a haunting that pretty much acts like a movie uh, replaying itself over and over and over. It can't communicate with you. It doesn't know you're there or anything like that. Now, an intelligent haunting is just the opposite. It's just like me and you communicating. Okay? And then you have your demonic haunting that I think is very, very rare. I think it's overplayed on TV. Yeah, get your mom over here. This is the uh, remote control to my garage door. Go ahead and... Uh... What are you looking for, Mom? Looking for a new blouse. There's something about this closet. Don't worry, I won't close the door on you. It's all right. I've been in darker places. Is there anybody uh, by the name, that would go by the name Betsy that frequented this lighthouse, or? Um, not that I know of. I've been affiliated with this lighthouse since 2004, and I spent a great deal of time here. And you just found out we're living in that room right there? <laughs> We've been here you know since 2006. No, that's why I said nobody's, <laughs> up, nobody's ever up here. Like, what? I, I was like, well, like, what just happened? Betsy could have been, you know, one of the lighthouse keeper's wives or a daughter. <laughs> the lights flicker. Does it bother you when I touch you with this? No. <laughs> You have the three lights, okay? Uh, August, September, October. The fest is in October, okay? And then you have the three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Everything happens in three. I caught three bass yesterday. <laughs> so we all enjoyed, you know, our ghost hunting adventure in Erie. You know, I'm not going to lie, today was interesting. Um, I was definitely spooked a few times. I heard things that I can't rationalize in my brain, but we're all especially excited to head to our final stop, Hotel Conneaut. Mm -hmm.